Understand you soon, it won't be long. Keep on, keep on. Alright guys, today I'm bringing you a video of how to set up custom alerts or widgets on Streamlabs OBS. But the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to come to this plus sign right here. Under widgets, you're going to click alert box and you're going to click add source. But before we move on, let me get started by showing you my custom alerts as an example. That is my host alert. This is my bits alert. This is the test bit. This is my donation alert. It's kind of like ear rate, but it's this all preference. Donation for this is for subscriptions. Ah, nigga. <laughs> this is What's and this is for follow. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, let me show you guys exactly how to add your own alerts. So what you have to do is just go to dashboard right here, and it should automatically send you to the browser version of Streamlabs OBS. If anything, just log into Streamlabs OBS like you would normally. So after this, you would go onto Alert Box, which is under Features tabs right here. You would click that. You would go to Follow. I'm just going to show you only the Follow one because you can just rinse and repeat this for each and every single one of them, and it should work exactly the same way. We go on to Follow Alerts and make sure that is enabled. After that, your layout. Your layout is crucial. So if you want the text to pop out right in the middle of the image, then you would choose this one. If you want it to pop out to the right of the image and an image to the left, then you would choose this one. I have it personally under the bottom of the image just so the image all pops up, but it's all preference. So also, after that, alert animation, which we're getting right into, over here if we go back onto Streamlabs, you saw that for the follows, it comes in a certain way. And it leaves a certain way as well. So after that's done, you go back onto your Chrome browser. So pretty much you're going to want to go down to Alert Animations and go over here. This is going to be the way that the animation comes in. Over here to the right is going to be the way it comes out. You're going to want to play around with this until you find something that you like. And after that, you guys are going to want to go down to Message Template. Your name is automatically going to be inputted, so do not move that or change that. So pretty much my name is Super Soldier V2 on Twitch. It automatically fills that spot in. So pretty much after your name is automatically inputted, just add a custom message to what you want the other person to see with this certain custom alert. After you finish with the message template, you go down to text animation and you're going to want to do the same thing that you did with the alert animation. And you're going to want to play around to see what text animation fits your stream the best. So after that, what you guys are usually wondering at the moment is how to add a custom image, GIF, video, or sound. I'm going to show you guys right now. So over here I have some preset uh, that I already added or found or looked up. This is the Fat Donkey GIF. And what you would do is you would download this by clicking Save Image As. You're going to make sure it saves as type and it shows GIF image. On top of that, you're going to just do Donkey GIF Alert, which I already have saved to my files. And I would just click that. I would just go into files. But before that, you would make sure that you click change media. And over here, you're going to see the drag and drop upload button. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in files. You're going to look up for the, for the GIF. And over here is the alert. This is the GIF file that we just downloaded from online browser source. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to drag it. Go into Chrome. Drag it into drag and uh, upload. But I already have it already there so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna double click the alert that you want to use and it's gonna automatically change the gift that you're using for the alert box so pretty much that's practically it but if you want to spice it up and you don't want to use any of the original sound from twitch what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to click change media I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to download sounds so if we go to YouTube so let's say I want to use this one right here right it's a one second clip, so pretty much what you do is you just, you just listen to it and see if it ties into the video at all. Hello there. And that's pretty much it. Hello it's just there. one second long. It just says hello there. After that, you're going to want to go into Y2 Mate. It's going to be the first thing that pops up. You're going to click this. And you're going to go back to the YouTube video. What you're going to want to do is you're going to highlight it, right click, copy. Or you can do Control C. 
After that, you do Control V, make sure the link copies and pastes. You go onto audio, and if it redirects you, do not get redirected. Make sure to close any other tab that it sends you. You close that, you go back over here, you click into audio, and if it keeps on doing it, just keep, keep on exiting out of the other tab. Make sure um, if it asks you to have notifications or something like that, do not click allow, just click the X button, and that's pretty much it. You click download, and it's going to take a little bit of download. It depends on how long the clip is or how fast your computer or internet speed is. But you're going to go down to download MP3. And you see it redirects me, right? You exit out of that. You see the download is on the bottom left. So we go back to alert boxes, right? And we upload this file onto the drag and drop upload. And after that, right there, it's going to always pop up on the top left of the sounds and media gallery. You're going to double click that. Hello there. And that's practically what's going to pop up. So every anytime that anybody follows you on Twitch, or whatever social media platform that you're using to stream on. You click the play button, and every single time someone follows, that's exactly the sound that's gonna play. You're gonna wanna play around and mess around with the sound volume and see what fits you the most because you don't wanna get ear raped in the middle of a stream while you're focusing really hard on a game or you're just doing a how-to tutorial or whatever. After that, you're gonna set up the alert duration for how long you want the alert to pop up, such as the image or the sound. I usually have it set up on zero seconds because I wanna respond as fast as possible to whoever's on my stream. After that, I usually have that disabled for enable custom HTML slash CSS. You click into open font settings, right? This is, this is also very crucial. You're gonna to wanna to play around with the fonts and see what fits the image the best or the video the best. You're gonna to wanna to play around with the font size, the font weight. So pretty much the weight is pretty much like how fast it drops in if you have like a text animation. The text color and the highlight color, this is pretty much self-explanatory. And after everything is finished, after you guys checked out and made sure everything is to your liking on all of that, you would click save settings. After you click save settings, it's gonna show you alert box updated. You go back onto your Streamlabs and you click test widgets and whatever you just did or whatever you added, you click the follow button in this case. And that's pretty much the one in place. Okay, I just thought I should address why you guys heard two sounds. I found out that I had two Streamlab tabs open in the background, but the problem shouldn't occur for you guys, so you guys should be fine. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was actually my first how-to tutorial video, so if you guys think I did bad or you guys think I did okay, let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate any of the support, and remember to hit that sub button. It helps me out a lot. Peace out, guys. Stay super. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.